Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to in install and use uh, two versions of OpenFOAM in one operating system, I mean Ubuntu. First of all, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and if this video was helpful for you, please uh, leave us a like. And the first point is that uh, why do we need uh, two versions of OpenFOAM? In some cases, there are some libraries or solvers that uh, you need, but uh, for example, in OpenFOAM 8, uh, you need the solver, but uh, it, is, it doesn't exist in OpenFOAM 8, and uh, it exists in OpenFOAM 6, or there is a library uh, or solver that has been, uh, you know, developed in uh, open, open form 6 and then uh, it doesn't uh, you don't uh, it will be so complicated to use that uh, solver in open form 8 so you need to use open form 6 and 8 together it was an example uh, it can be uh, uh, you know it, this example can be uh, used for all the versions for example uh, open form uh, 6 or 7 and something like this Okay, let's go and see how we can do it. The first one, uh, you in the first step, you install OpenFOAM from openform.org. The first, uh, the the first one, for example, OpenFOAM eight, and it is okay. And you know how to install it. If you don't know, you can go to website, and it will be so easy to install it. And when you want to install the second one, uh, and the uh, our method is this uh, you go to your home this is my home and there is a file named bashrc you open it and if you uh, come down uh, in this case i have uh, installed two versions of open form the first one uh, is open form 8 which was i was using this open form and then after that i needed open form 6 the extended one and not the original one, the extended one. So the solution was this: uh, I write alias, then I write a name. It doesn't matter what is it. Uh, it should. I think uh, you should write a, a short and simple name, and that you can remember which version is this. For Open Form 8, I have written OF8. Then uh, you write uh, the the root of uh, where have you installed that open form for open form 8 in my uh, operating system in ubuntu is this root and then i needed to install open form 6 the extended one and then uh, i have installed in this way and you write again alias then you, you write a name which is it should be a bit short and simple and easy to memorize it and because you will need to use it a lot in open to in terminal so uh, it is open form 6 then you write this uh, root of i mean the path of uh, that open form. okay uh, for open uh, for the 6 and open form 6 uh, my root is here which i can show it it's uh it is home then open form 2006 then i go to open form v2006 then then i choose etc then i choose bashar c this you should write the you should uh, mention to path of bash rc here and it is that uh, it's okay so easy and simple uh, to use it so let's see how we can uh, use them how we can use open from 8 or open from 6 uh, for example i go to terminal and i choose an example for example i know uh, multi-phase and interform laminar and i know solution whatever wait and then let's okay let's copy this then i paste it here here and i open it in terminal and 
Uh, if I want to uh, run this simulation in OpenFOAM 8, I have to write the name of uh, the thing that we have written in Elias. Okay, let's see. This is BashRC. For example, I have written OpenFOAM OF8. And then I write OF8. Then I hit enter. Then after that, I can write block mesh. Okay, then that's it. And it works. And let's see if I want to run this in open form 6, I have to write first OFV6. OFV6, then I hit enter. Then I can write block mesh, and that's it. But uh, for example, if you don't write OF6 uh, or OF8, uh, it doesn't work. Let's see, block mesh. Okay. Okay, it says that uh, this command not found. So you have to first write OF6 uh, or OF8, the name that you have written in Elias, then uh, you can use it. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to write, write it in comments. And if this video was helpful for you, please leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel.